Hi, Cube Colin, and thanks for joining us today to uh, talk about the, the DoD Enterprise DevSecOps initiative with uh, Platform One. Uh, pretty excited to uh, be back and uh, share with you some of our uh, two-year journey to uh, to Kubernetes and Istio. Let's get started. So, um, as you can see, the the DoD Enterprise DevSecOps initiative is a joint team across the Department of Defense. Uh, the goal is to bring enterprise services with Cloud One and Platform One. Uh, cloud One is our cloud office to connect to both Amazon and Azure and be uh, cloud agnostic. And Platform One is the DevSecOps team that's focused on uh, bringing uh, Kubernetes and the service mesh and the hardened security that we need to bring a CI-CD pipeline, uh, bringing that timeliness and modularity component to enable reuse across the department. Uh, we're mandating and using uh, CNCF compliant Kubernetes clusters and OCI compliant containers as Lego blocks so we can uh, be more efficient in the creation of, uh, of systems and weapons. Uh, effectively, uh, we are bringing this as a DOD-wide uh, DevSecOps managed service with all the collaboration tools, development tools, and cyber tools that we need uh, to be able to produce um, software that's uh, not only doing what it's supposed to be doing, but also with that baked in security and zero trust. And some of the key tenets of, of what we do is uh, GitOps, everything is in Git. Um, obviously, everything is Kubernetes native. Uh, zero trust is baked in with also that behavior, continuous monitoring, detection, and prevention uh, capability as well. Uh, we're not going to have the time to talk about zero trust, but we have a whole video on our website. We'll put the link at the end of the presentation for you to check it out. Uh, it's covering the north, south, uh, east, west traffic, zero trust enforcement, device enforcement for our uh, employees and contractors as well. Uh, now, uh, you know, we also created uh, Iron Bank, which is the uh, open source uh, container registry where we um, harden and secure 450 containers, both uh, open source and commercial tools, uh, so they can be uh, consumed with hardened configurations and hardened uh, operating systems. Um, we use uh, Universal Base Image 7 and 8 uh, from Red Hat as well. Uh, like I said, we created this sidecar container security stack that's doing that behavior detection and zero trust down to the container and all the function level uh, if people are using things like a native or on Kubernetes as well. And uh, self-learning capabilities are foundational for the success of the department. Um, so we have about 100,000 people we have to train every year. So we want to bring this state-of-the-art uh, DevSecOps curriculum with unbiased content. We see a lot of companies pushing their one size fits all uh, content training, and we want to uh, really make sure we we have options. So we are partnering with uh, the Linux Foundation, uh, the uh, Cloud Native Computing Foundation, and O'Reilly the Box to bring a, a broad and diverse set of of uh, uh, training content. So we're not pushing uh, for a single product or cloud. Everything we do uh, is about metrics and acceptable thresholds in CI/CD pipeline to break the build. Uh, for safety reasons, for security reasons, and we created the concept of a, a continuous authority to operate, continuous ATO that enables us to release software multiple times a day. Um, pretty exciting to see in, in the department as well. So in 2019, we talked about how we built these pretty cool uh, simulators, and uh, then we showed you that uh, uh, in 45 days, we put Kubernetes and Istio on F-16 jets. Uh, pretty exciting to see. Uh, and then, um, you know, we created Platform One to become that central team that is helping all these uh, duty programs and science and technology partners, contractors, uh, startups, and non-traditional ventures uh, groups, and other agencies as well. That turned into a broad software ecosystem all over the, the United States with teams focused on different missions from space to uh, uh, nuclear systems to jets to bombers to uh, business systems to cyber offense and defense. Um, and we ended up creating a bunch of services. Some are open source uh, to the world, so you can go and check it out. Uh, we have the full detail on the software that they have the mail website. But you can see the repo one, for example, is our source code repo. That's where we put uh, all the container source code and fresh address code, all the Kubernetes distribution that we hardened. Uh, so you can go and check out all that uh, open source code on repo1.dso.mil. 
And then we have, like I talked about, the Iron Bank and Registry one, uh, which is our uh, container registry, where we have 450 plus containers available, uh, centrally uh, rebuilt, signed, and scanned with uh, three scanners. Uh, and we provide the body of evidence of all the CVs and all the mitigation done. Uh, you can see Iron Bank on ironbank.dso.mil and registry one is registry one.dso.mil. Uh, those are free services that we provide for the department, but also we open sourced all of that as well. We also hardened uh, multiple CNCF uh, compliant Kubernetes uh, distributions. Uh, we partner with uh, multiple companies that do business with the department, um, including Rancher, uh, Convoy, um, uh, VMware, uh, TKG, um, AWS, um, EKS, Azure AKS, um, and of course, Red Hat OpenShift as well. Um, so you can check out the, the Kubernetes matrix. We, we created this uh, uh, comparison matrix to compare uh, Kubernetes distributions in terms of features and capabilities, uh, looking at, at a lot of details. So I think it's very uh, interesting even for commercial customers to take a look at that matrix to see how to pick a Kubernetes distribution based on your, on your needs. So a lot of, lot of great uh, information there as well. Now, um, we created two main services, PartyBus and Big Bang. PartyBus is our multi-tenant DevSecOps service that we accredit, we run as a service, and our development teams in DoD can uh, go and, and use it. Um, it's a development uh, test staging and production environment at different classification levels. Um, and then we have the Big Bang, and the Big Bang is also completely open source. So check it out if you if you Google Platform One Big Bang, you're going to see on Repo One the entire code base of Big Bang. That's our Platform One uh, on-demand um, push button deployment. So you can instantiate a dedicated enclave on-demand just by uh, deploying Big Bang using complete automation. Again, we're following GitOps, so you can take that code from Repo One and all the infrastructure as code and configuration as code. And, and then you can even contribute back to us. We have uh, all the, the foundational blocks of Big Bang, but you can also create add-ons. So if you have a great capability, you can get your, as a commercial company, you can get your container approved on, on, on Iron Bank. There is an on, onboarding guide for containers. So if you have a container, you want to get it approved for DoD use, all the way to the highest classification level. We streamline that process to two to four weeks now. So it's very easy to do business with the Department of Defense. You can go on Iron Bank, get your container accredited, and then you can even create an add-on on Big Bang to have a full GitOps instantiation, whether it's a, a Helm chart or Kubernetes operator, to instantiate whatever product that you're building on top of Big Bang. For example, it could be a Kubeflow instantiation, a Knative instantiation. Uh, you can pick, pick your product of choice and create add-ons on top of Big Bang to instantiate that. Uh, anywhere, we run on Jets, Bombers, on-premise, at the edge, on different hardware, from legacy 20 years old hardware to uh, cloud-native uh, capabilities, all the way to air-gapped clouds as well. So check out Big Bang. It's completely open source, and we'd love to get your feedback on, on what we've done. Now, we obviously invest a lot of time and money in, in training. And uh, like I said, we have 100,000 people to train, so we created this portal. We've created content. Uh, partnered with the uh, Linux Foundation, CNCF, and O'Reilly the Bucks. But we also did workshops, right? So we can uh, onboard companies that are trying to do business with the department or have um, engagements with uh, programs within the Department of Defense uh, or apply for grants to, to do business with the Department of Defense. We have AppWorks, which is our um, grant mechanism, venture arm of the Air Force to, to partner with startups to do business with the Department of Defense, so please check it out. Uh, but we do a, a three days workshop all the way to a two months full onboarding that um, helps teams get started with DevSecOps that have never done DevSecOps before for, for our duty programs. Me, I'm moving from Waterfall all the way to DevSecOps so we can embed people of Platform One into their teams, and that really is what makes it uh, uh, more efficient uh, to collaborate and, and have a a successful minimal viable product uh, built within six weeks to, to two months. We created also a, a lot of different services with our uh, cloud native DNS. So we, we use the call DNS to move uh, the .mil, so DSO.mil is hosted 
on Kubernetes using cold DNS, uh, completely manage as, as configuration as code or policy as code using Git mergers. So that's exciting to see as well. Uh, all hosted on platform one in Kubernetes. We also uh, do all the identity management, single sign-on and PKI. We use Keycloak for a uh, single sign-on. Uh, it's all provided uh, as a service by Platform One on uh, on Kubernetes, where we have multiple multi-factor authentication options. We can do both uh, person entity, so human authentication, and non-person entity authentication using X509 certificate. Uh, we use Vault uh, to manage our PKI, and uh, that brings us that uh, a cloud agnostic, native, elastic capability that can be hosted anywhere. Again, everything we do is GitOps. Uh, driven, so uh, push button association of all these different products is 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 very easy for us, and of course we then use uh, these capabilities to do code signing and container signing and NP and P authentication as well. Now, uh, some of the great uh, story we announced this year and last year is that uh, the Department of Defense, particularly the Air Force and Space Force, are now using uh, Kubernetes and Istio for all new work, but also uh, bring it to existing platforms, including uh, the U2 Jet, for example, uh, that is uh, multiple decades old, but yet we we're able to not only uh, put Kubernetes and Istio on the jet, but also fly it with uh, uh, over-the-air update received while flying. We deploy Big Bang, like I said, the Big Bang uh, open source code can be used anywhere, or uh, air gapped or uh, on clouds. Uh, in this case, we put it on the jet in 12 days, and we uh, flew the jet with Kubernetes and Istio with our hardened Big Bang deployment. Uh, we were able to receive the over-the-air updates and run AI and ML capabilities completely containerized on hardware that used to be running, you know, Ada and, and C code, now moving to Python and Go and, and other languages. So it's pretty exciting to see. And some of the great uh, platform one metrics. Uh, we have now uh, about, I would say, 270 people in the team. The majority of the team is comprised of contractors, but we have all, also military and civilian uh, personnel. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, the Big Bang and the Party Bus. Big Bang can be instantiated anywhere, so we have hundreds of those now across the department, but also outside of the department. We see a lot of commercial organizations starting to take Big Bang and use it uh, for their DevSecOps work. For example, Loki Martins just announced they're going to use Big Bang for all of Loki, not just uh, DoD work uh, for all DevSecOps teams. So that's going to be an, a big enabler to, to move fast. Uh, we have 454 containers on Iron Bank. Uh, Polybus now has uh, 3,200 developers on it uh, with 2,500 microservices built, and that's just within the last seven months. Uh, 41 applications in production, 209 teams. Uh, on party bus. Uh, the CNAP is our cloud native access point. That's our zero trust ingress, egress to the cloud uh, to enforce the device state and the user identity. Um, and based on the component risk of the device and the user, we whitelist access to resources. So we have a full uh, video on the website for you to check out uh, information about our zero trust uh, model. So check it out. We have now 20,000 or so active user on the cloud native access point. And in terms of our door metrics, uh, we uh, release software 21 times a day in production with under uh, two days for lead time and uh, under 15 minutes uh, time for to restore and under 5% change federal rate, uh, which is a good beginning, but that's not uh, good enough. We wanna obviously continuously improve and do better, but it's a great starting point for a government organization, no doubt. Now, you know, a lot of people ask us, okay, but, you know, we want to we wanna learn more and, and check this out. Um, well, you want to go to the uh, uh, chief software uh, office website at software.ad.mail. Under DSLP documents, you're going to find all our videos and documents, including the, the Zero Trust video I, I just talked about. Under the training section, you're going to see all the training video we created, or some of it at least, that we created. Um, Check out the Platform One website. You're going to see all of the, the different Platform One products, how we architected the uh, the products and how we designed it. Uh, more importantly, on Repo One, you're going to see uh, all the source code of everything we do, including the Big Bang code, 
all the container uh, hardening code, all the pipelines that we have. Um, and then, of course, you can even consume and create an account to consume containers on registry one. Uh, just go on login.dsl.mil, create an account, and then you can log in into registry one and, and be able to uh, see uh, Harbor, who is Harbor uh, for container registry. Uh, so go on Harbor and uh, check out uh, the, the different containers we have. And, and, and you can go to repo one and see the Docker file. So you can see what kind of hardening we do for each container. Of course, um, if you see improvement that can be made, please pu uh, push a merge request uh, to uh, uh, repo one so we can improve the containers and, and get better as, as a team. Um, and of course, we do events. We do a lot of live uh, discussions where we take questions live for, from the audience every month. So if you have uh, questions, if you want to talk more, uh, please uh, check it out. And like I said, we have a whole video on GeoTrust. Each of these products have deep dives on uh, how to partner, how to be part of this. We are also announcing a contract vehicle that will enable uh, companies to take some of that code and uh, effectively uh, create a, a commercial service around it. So if you want to help companies to harden containers on Iron Bank, if you want to deploy a SaaS capability in the Department of Defense, you can do that uh, through that vehicle. If you want to uh, maybe get some of your uh, products uh, containerized and hardened in Iron Bank so they can be deployed in DoD uh, and, and uh, then sell licenses right for consumption to create more revenue for your company, uh, you can do that. Uh, it's very easy to follow the container onboarding guide on Iron Bank to get your container approved uh, for DoD use. It's not like it used to be 10 years ago. Uh, like I said, we streamlined the whole process for startups to do business with the department so you can even get grants with no equity uh, given. So uh, please check check all this stuff out. Um, check AFWORKS. It's spelled, it's spelled A F W E R X. Uh, you're going to see all of the uh, uh, grants um, and how to apply uh, to be part of that uh, um, grant cycle, uh, which is every quarter. Um, so please uh, come and, and, and share with us, give us feedback, see what we could improve, what can we do better in security. Um, like I said, we do a lot of behavior detection and, and uh, continuous monitoring, and uh, we use Istio for our service mesh today. Uh, so love to get your, your feedback on what we can improve. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, shoot us an email at uh, af.cso at uh, us.af.mil. Looking forward to hearing from you guys and uh, stay safe and uh, stay tuned for what's coming next. Thanks for your time.